Today, one final push. President Trump and Joe Biden fighting for every last vote and trading punches in the battleground states. What a disaster Joe Biden is. This guy's a disgrace. Biden making three stops in critical Pennsylvania. That after going on offense in Ohio, both states the president won in 2016. The first step to beating the virus is beating Donald Trump. Trailing in the polls, President Trump is in a full sprint, making five stops across Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. You have the power to vote, so go out and vote. Unless you're going to vote for somebody other than me, in which case, sit it up. The president campaigning in Florida over the weekend and taking heat for this moment when supporters chanted for him to fire top health official Dr. Anthony Fauci. Fire Fauci! Fire Fauci! The president's response. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. I got a better idea. Elect me and I'm going to hire Dr. Fauci. Not and we're going to fire Donald Trump. And as President Trump signals he wants results to be final tomorrow night, despite several states warning a full count could take days, the country is bracing for potential conflict. Businesses boarding up from New York to California before polls open up for an election day like no other. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. It's not just the candidates out today. Former President Obama campaigning for Biden in Atlanta and Miami. First Lady Melania Trump is in North Carolina. And tonight, superstars Lady Gaga and John Legend will join the Biden team for their final events of the day. From the White House, Alice Barr, NBC News.